Hello everyone and welcome back. So in the last section, we were able to work on our product and we were able to list the products and also uh, displayed a dynamic page for more details about that product. Now in this particular section, we'll be working on our shopping cart. So the shopping cart will look like this and we'll be able to add items to cart, remove items from cart. Uh, also, we'll be able to design this calculate subtotal and so on. So before we proceed, right here at our product reviews, uh, I see that this stretches all through the way, but I didn't want that. I wanted it to be short. And therefore in our list uh, rating uh, component, what I need to do is to come right here and make sure that I include angle brackets right here. So I missed this and save. Uh, now look, this looks good to me. After that, uh, what we will work on is to create uh, a hook called use cut. So we'll create a hook called use cut hook. So right here, you can go ahead and say use cut dot tsx like that. To begin with is to create a cut context and then we'll use that uh, to export it with our hook. So whenever we call the hook, we'll be able to access uh, all the properties that we need from our cut context. So right here, what I'll do, I'll start by creating a cut context. I'll say export and we'll say const cut context, which will be equal to, let me minimize this one. I'll say create context. And this will come from React. So if I click this, it's auto imported. Awesome. Now I'll invoke this and I'll pass null. So by default, our cut context will be null. But I need to also define the types that will be passing to this cut context. So after the import here, I can define a type. So I'll say let type cut context type uh, be equal to. And to begin with, I can just define one type uh, for it not just to be empty. And I'll say cut total qty and I'll set this one to be a number. Now we can pass this cut context type right here, like this. So I'll include angle brackets and I'll paste it here. And we'll be having this cut context type or we will be having null. And here we have our cut context. Now the next thing that we should create is our cut context provider. And I'll say export const cut context provider and this will be like a normal component so here we'll set it to be equal to an arrow function and we do like this here we should return something and what we will return is our cut context right here dot provider so here i'll say cut context dot provider it expects us to pass a value plop so here I'll pass a value and I'll set it to value. So we can define this value right here, which will be an object. So right here I can say const value will be equal to an object. And for now we can pass a cut total quantity. So I'll say cut total QTY, which is not defined yet. And we can say const, I'll have cut total quantity. And then we can have set cut total quantity let's make sure that this starts with a capital there and we set this to be equal to use state hook uh, that comes from react and we invoke it by default we'll have value of zero so we have created this cut context provider and inside this cut context provider we are returning cut context dot provider remember we have created our cut context right here dot provider and we pass this value prop which is uh, mandatory and also we pass the values that will be in our value here so this will be an object and here we'll be able to pass different properties like the state here for cut total we'll be able to pass different functions like handle add product to cut remove product from cut and so on right here and we'll be able to define all the types right here okay so so far so good for this cut context provider we will be having uh, some props so here we'll have props and 
we will pass the type for this as uh, props and we can define this interface so right here i'll say interface props and right here we'll make it to accept uh, any kind of a prop that it will be receiving and this is how we can do it so we'll say uh, prop name here so this is like a placeholder and this prop name must be a string and then it will be of any type so this way our cut context provider will be able to accept any props now at this cut context provider i'll spread these props right here so what i'll do i'll just destructure like this and i'll say dot 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 and i'll pass props so one last thing that remains is to create this use cut hook at the bottom here so we will export and we'll say const use cut and we'll set it to be equal to an arrow function like that we'll say const context will be equal to use context and we invoke this and we pass our cut context right here so this way we'll, we are able to receive all the properties that we include at our value right here at our context okay right here we'll make sure that this context is not null so i'll say if our context is equal to null uh, we will return an error so here we will draw a new error draw new error we invoke this and we'll say use cut must be used within a cut context provider so if we access this use cut hook at a component that is not wrapped with our cut context provider this error will show now at the end here we will simply return our context so whenever we call use cut we'll be able to access this context which will have our different values i hope that makes sense so i'll save to auto format everything and now this is the basic structure of our use cut hook and we'll be uh, working on this file to write different logic for our cut but before we do that we need to wrap our app with this cut context provider and let's do that in the next episode